Hi everyone, my name is Idil and welcome to Idil's Kitchen. Today I've got a very healthy soup recipe for you. We are going to make a yogurt soup. In Turkish we call this yayla çorbası. It's just an amazing soup that's very filling, perfect for the cold winter days. What we are going to need is obviously some yogurt. I've got thick yogurt and normal yogurt here. I like to mix them both, but if you can't find them both, you can do it with regular yogurt or thick yogurt as well. Both will work great. I've got some egg yolks, some flour, some butter, some rice, about a table, two tablespoons, some salt, some pepper, some dried mint, which is a must in this recipe, and some beef stock. I'm going to write down all the ingredients down below in the description box along with the quantities, so please make sure to check that out. So what I have here is my big beef stock. If it's home weight, uh, it works much better. That's nearly about coming to a boil and I'm not gonna wait for it to boil, I'm just going to add some salt to make it a little bit more delicious. And when I do beef stock, I always include some vegetables in there, a bay leaf in there so that it's very, very flavorful. So I'm going to add the rice in here as well. And I'll be stirring it once in a while and I'm going to wait down until the rice cooks here. And in the meantime, we're going to prepare our sauce and we're going to put everything together until the end. So I have a bowl here. I'm just adding all the yogurt in a bigger bowl. I used to drink this soup all the time when I was pregnant. You know, when you get morning sickness and you don't want to eat anything, this soup is great. So if there are any pregnant viewers out there, make sure to try this out. You're going to love it. And yogurt is quite, quite healthy for you, quite good for you. In Turkey, it's something that's always on our table. We eat everything with yogurt. It wasn't this popular in the world, uh, in the rest of the world, um, five, six years ago. But now you can find Greek yogurt, Turkish yogurt in supermarkets, in States, in Europe, everywhere. And I'm adding the flour here as well, so that it gives a little bit more consistency. And I'm just whisking everything together. And once I see the rice nearly cooked, I'm going to temper this with a little bit of the beef stock and we're going to add this whole thing in the pan and prepare a delicious soup. I've cooked the rice in the simmering beef stock for about 10 minutes. It's not fully cooked because uh, it's going to continue cooking once we add the yogurt in there as well. So it's always to, you know, keep that in mind, make sure not to overcook anything. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking a ladle of beef stock in my yogurt here. If I add this right now uh, without tempering it, it's going to get all curdled up. I don't want that. So slowly I'm increasing the temperature of the yogurt. And after adding about four or five ladles of the beef stock, like so, I'm now going to add this in here mixing it while doing so. And again, everything is on a simmer. I'm going to continue mixing everything, adding a little bit of salt. I'm going to bring it to a boil and then keep it on the simmer for about 10-15 minutes more and then it will be ready. And now let's cook the mint in butter so that this becomes super delicious. I put about a tablespoon of butter in my pan here and I'm adding the mint as well. Mint goes great with this. It's definitely a must. And I'm going to wait until the butter is melted. And the mint has been uh, cooking in that butter for about a minute or two. 
and then we are going to serve our soup and we are going to put some uh, butter and mint on top of it and it's gonna be super delicious. And it's ready and it looks so good, so delicious. Now I'm going to prepare myself a bowl, some of that beautiful soup and just look at that consistency. It's thick but not super thick, just the way it's supposed to be. And on top of it, we are going to add that butter and mint. which will take it to the next level. And now it's time to give it a taste. So good. Really the best soup ever. You guys must get in the kitchen right now and try this out. You can garnish it with some fresh mint leaves if you want to, if you, make it, if you want to make it look a little bit more uh, sophisticated. I just love it. If you do try it, don't forget to leave your comments down below. And if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to my channel for easy, breezy, delicious Mediterranean recipes. Hope to see you next time. Bye.